Easy K Studios in Amen! Dorf Easy and Lazy Reviewer! That's Rainy Cage, sir. Okay, well, for, until you prove to me you're not a Lazy Movie Reviewer. I think I'm sticking with it. That. Sticking with the Lazy Reviews. Well, that's why I keep calling you that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Dorf Easy. I'm Rainy Cage. So we're going to do a little uh, Comic-Con breakdown. Uh, it's kind of a news thing, but kind of not at the same time. Hopefully you can hear me this time. That'd be an improvement from the last episode. Well, your sound thing's going, so... Yeah. Uh, that's a good thing, <laughs> hopefully. All right, so first trailer to talk about is Titans. Yeah, this was like one of the most disappointing, I think, of all the mm-hmm. trailers. Uh, I mean, I don't mind the whole F Batman thing that everybody's freaking out about. <laughs> Fuck Batman! <laughs> but just overall, it just looked like... It looked terrible. It looked like a teen, like a CW show is what it looked like No, to me. it didn't look that bad. But, it, but real dark and gritty, just so it could be dark and gritty. I like it's to just see. not my Teen Titans. You know, I like that original Teen Titans. You like show. Teen Titans Go. Oh, not that. The original Teen Titans. I want that in TV form. Why couldn't we just get that? Why does it have to be dark and gritty? Because it's DC and uh, <laughs> it's proven well for them. And I mean, I mean, say you talk all the shit you want about Arrow, but Arrow, it's gone six seasons and it's a dark and gritty show and they're getting ready to do season seven. So or maybe, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised by this so and it's i mean it's being produced by greg berlanti who did all who's done all these cw shows what the titans is mm-hmm. well no wonder it looks like an fat cw show that's exactly what it looks like but <laughs> like, well, he doesn't i don't think he has much to do with him anymore i think he's more just it's his uh brand and it's uh it's kind of like when jj abrams said all right here's lost all right guys you do what y'all want it makes me not even want to watch it well, you, you never know. That. It's oh, <laughs> that pilot of Star Trek Discovery was yeah, horrible. Really yeah, and if it was going to be like that pilot, because it's odds are this trailer is just the pilot of the show. You're probably right. Maybe they'll change it up a little bit. Or but I'm not paying a year out for. Uh, I'm not paying a year worth of DC. Uh, yeah, I mean, information yeah. like the show Young Justice. The trailer they showed for that. It's going to be on there. I'll probably just look for that online somewhere. Yep, me too. All right, next trailer, Star Trek Discovery Season 2. What you think about this? I just watched it, and it looks pretty awesome. I loved Star Trek Discovery. It was one of my favorite shows last year. Did we do Top 10 TV? Yes. What was it on my list? I don't know. It was up there. <laughs> I feel like it was up there. It wasn't in my list. Because um, the first half of the season was, wasn't that great. The second half of Season 1 was amazing. It really was. Except for the end, and the end, they kind of just kind of shoehorn everything I feel like it, it. it had a good build to it. Um, and lo- some of the characters people don't like, like Tilly, I think's her name. I really like her, um, even though she's a little goofy. Um, well, you're a little goofy, so yeah. I mean, that's why you like yeah. her. But I like the, the main chick from uh, uh, Walking Dead. I forget what her name is, but yeah. I like the show, and I'm looking forward to it. And this trailer looked pretty Sasha. good. Sasha. I know this... I know this... Yeah, Sasha. I know this trailer... Um, it's got some rock music. I didn't like that. Like. I mean, did we? I posted a comment on the on the YouTube video of it, but did we not learn anything from Star Trek Beyond? That trailer was terrible. The reason for that song being in the movie was terrible. Oh, and uh, the song that destroys an entire <laughs> fleet. That's what saves the world. It's Beastie Boys. <laughs> Beastie Boys, man. It's better than love saving the world. That happens way too much in movies. Yeah. Um, yeah, overall, I think it looks cool. I'm ready for it. Um, we still got a long ways to go. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick breakdown of all the the CW trailers oh, for, the, uh, for the for uh, the trailers. To know. Well, most of them, the, there wasn't really much new stuff from any of the trailers. All of it was really was recap of the season and then like one little scene. Uh, Flash, you just see uh, Flash's daughter in there, and we just more or less. The the coin cool trailer was the Legend of Tomorrow was all right. The coolest CW trailer was the one for Arrow, and it's basically Oliver Queen. He's in prison, and uh, he's his head shaved. And I thought he was uh, mayor, huh? What happened to that? Uh, well, he got he, he got kicked out as mayor, <laughs> oh. and then he outed himself as the as the Green Arrow, mm. and he basically goes into a, a prison, and basically. All the criminals he's basically locked up, he's surrounded by. So it's actually 
it's going to be interesting how long they keep this uh, storyline going for like season. an Arkham Asylum kind mm-hmm. of storyline. Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. So, uh, so, but you see some characters from uh, his past that have, haven't been in it in a while, and they're all just look at him, and hey, Oliver's going to have to try to stay low and try to survive in a prison, and it, it, that's what I. It was actually one of the coolest uh, CWTV trailers I, I saw. No. Uh... Black Lightning or whatever it's called. Uh, I don't Black think Lightning. they showed any new footage. Oh. So, all right, uh, you want to talk about Walking Dead? Sure, I did watch the trailer for that. Um, it's going to be crazy because this is the first time they've got a completely different showrunner. Um, you can tell that they're preparing for a send off of Rick. Well, it's not the first time they've had a new showrunner. Uh, that's true, but they've had the same one since like season two. I feel like, mm. um, but. Um, it looks good. I'm still on the Walking Dead tra- train. I've just switched over to where I used to watch it week to week. It's not a Game of Thrones for me anymore. It's uh, it's a bi- wait. It's a it. Daredevil yeah, yeah, binge watch show. Yeah. Um, but it looks it looks interesting. I'm interested to see who they're gonna have kind of take over the show after Rick leaves. Um, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna talk quickly about the Doctor Who series eleven uh, okay. little teaser. Basically, they show uh, Jodie Whittaker as the new Doctor. They've been teasing a little bit. There really wasn't much to talk about. You see her as the Doctor. She's running around. She's like, uh, she's like, I have a new face. I have new friends. And then basically, uh, I think they're keeping a lot of the stuff hidden so they don't spoil it. So I'm looking forward to it. Oh, I also will do you ask answer me something is. Is Doctor Who like James Bond? Like they just, it's the same person every time they just change out the actor? Or is there actually separate doctors? It's the same doctor. Basically, uh, basically, it's the same person who is basically, whenever the doctor dies, yeah. he, uh, doc- Time Lords have this special ability where they can regenerate themselves into a whole new person. Oh. So they're the same person. But they come up, they come in with a whole new different personality or a different gender sometimes. So, okay. uh, but uh, they're keeping a lot of stuff hidden from this uh, season. So, I, and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, it comes back on in October because I love Mesa Doctor Who. I think you would really like it if you watch it because it is it has great sci-fi episodes. It's got great horror episodes. It's got great adventure episode, history episodes. It's a fun show. You should watch it one day. Everybody tells me to watch it. One day I feel like I will. But I don't know if I'll start it at the beginning. Well, no, I'm taking watch season one, series one, of the 2005 Revival series. Yeah. Because the classic series is it's dated. Oh. I, I don't even like that. But the 2005 series is... Uh, and how many seasons has there been since 2005? Uh, Eleven. Okay. And each ep- each season is about twelve to thirteen episodes. Okay, I may give it a try one day. No, it's closer to I've been in uh, five <laughs> years. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk about Better Call Saul real quick because okay. I forgot to write that down. Okay, uh, it looks fucking awesome. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, one of my favorite uh, shows on television right now, and uh, just great to see more of Jimmy McGill as uh, as he closer becomes Saul Goodman. So I'm looking forward to this show. It comes back on next week. So I'm actually really looking forward to this. Dang. Okay, uh, let's talk about Clone Wars. Oh my gosh. Who saw that coming? No one. <laughs> Fucking Dave Filoni. I know. Fucking He's Dave a master. Filoni. He's a master. Uh, yeah, it looks awesome. I love just the trailer where you just see all the you see all the clone troopers' helmets. And they're like, okay, this is just, uh, it's like, well, thank you for 10 years of uh, being uh, loyal fans. But no. And you see Anakin, you see apparently some of the scenes that was an episode which was fully audio, but they just never did the animation for it. Because there was one clone who apparently showed up in that. That's what uh, uh, the Star Wars champ told me, uh, Star Wars Explained. Makes sense. And uh, I'm curious how long it's going to go. Because I they said 12 episodes. Yep. It doesn't mean it's going to be 12 episodes and done. It could just be 12 episodes and then maybe another season. Because this could just be the finale of season uh, seven, which was, you know, season seven was those lost episodes with Yoda and uh, the clone uh, season and the Mace Windu, Jar Jar Binks uh, adventure along episode. Uh, so uh, we can see that, and then maybe we can see the Dark Disciple episodes with the uh, the fate of Asajj Ventress. Maybe we'll get to see uh, we'll get to see Darth Maul fighting Palpatine again. And, and then and then we'll have to see the siege of Mandalore and maybe yeah. the rescue and maybe the 
of with Grievous taking Palpatine, which sets ourselves up to the beginning of Revenge of the Sith. The main thing I want to see, Ahsoka. I freaking love Ahsoka. Well, you saw her in the trailer. I know, so that even got me. And really it's excited. cool because it was like because she's gonna be doing stuff with Mandalore. Because you see Bo Katan in there, yep. uh, who's uh, voiced by Katie Sackoff. And I'm really, I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I'm surprised. I mean, it's it's making me more and more want this stupid Disney streaming service. I mean, all you have to do is say Star Wars is gonna be in. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll probably be there day one. And now, that I'll, now that movie pass is probably never gonna be a thing anymore. <laughs> I won't have to worry about that. Yeah, so this probably won't be till like what next fall though. Because I don't know when the streaming service is supposed to start, yeah. but sometime next year. But, but next year. Yeah, but next year. But it just seems so far away. I'm looking forward for this and Star Wars Resistance, so. Yeah, but that's just because we have heard, like, nothing about Resistance. I can't even remember the trailer. Is there a trailer for Resistance? There's, like, a little promo thing. Yeah. I mean, I may really like Resistance because it bridges 6 and 7, but, I mean, we'll see. All right, moving on, we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. What do you think about the trailer? I am very outspoken Godzilla slash Kong hater. So, uh, I'm going to be honest. I thought the trailer was pretty good. <laughs> but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to go see this movie. So, I, I hate it. The first Godzilla, I've only seen it once. Yeah, I fell asleep, I remember. So maybe I need to rewatch it. Um, and then I hated Kong Skull Island. So this universe is not getting off to a good start with me, anyways. Um, but I didn't realize the, stra- the Stranger Things uh, Eleven chick was going to be in there. What's her? Millie Bobby Brown. I forgot about that. And uh, looked good. And they were like monsters, monsters, monsters. So at least they listened and also to the kinda, critics. It set itself out more like a. It's kind of like a post-apocalypse kind of world. And you know how I feel about that. Yeah. So that's why I was kind of like, And, and then you have uh, Kim Watanabe's <laughs> back in the movie. You also got uh, Coach Taylor, who's apparently the father of Eleven. And uh, so I'm looking I'm looking, I'm looking, looking forward to it. I mean, I was already looking forward to this. It's coming out in May. So May next year is going to be packed with Avengers, if that comes out in May. Um, John Wick Chapter 3. And then, um, and then Godzilla King of the Monsters. That's gonna be a, that's a pretty good May in my opinion. Gosh, I can't believe I'm gonna probably want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on, we have uh, let's do let's do Alita Battle Angel. I thought this. I still even the first ep- trailer I think was better than this Comic Con trailer, um, because I love the music they picked for that trailer. It had this kind of. I don't know, really artistic feel to it. This one, I still think this looks amazing. I think the action scenes look great. Um, I heard that it was filmed with James Cameron's fancy-ass 3D camera, so I bet the 3D is going to be cool. Um, And, you know, I've heard mixed things about people that were actually saw the panel and saw, like, 15, 20 minutes of footage. Some said that it was amazing. Some said that the scenes between the girl and the boy, the love scenes, sucked, but everything, the action was really cool. So, I know some people don't like the look, but to me, I mean, she's not supposed to look human. She's supposed to look, she's like an android. So, and I think uh, they chose to make her eyes ginormous as like a stylistic choice. Um, So, that doesn't bug me. I think it looks awesome, and I think it looks like my kind of movie. But I get, you know, I'm also the guy that likes Valyrian, so... Um, <laughs> and Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> and Jupiter Ascending. So, I just like sci-fi stuff, and it's got a great cast, too. Does it? Yeah. You got Christoph Waltz. Um, you got the dude from Get Out is in there. I just... I feel like Robert Rodriguez, though, is the iffy part for me, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm definitely pumped for it, though. More than most. I think they just... I thought the action scenes looked okay, but I... The girl just looks like a CGI uh, blob. <laughs> That's my problem with the trailer. I don't... I don't... Everything else about it is just... Yeah, I just... They could have made her look a little more real. And, like, you know, you look at a movie like Terminator, where uh, even when Arnold's uh, starting losing his uh, facial uh, face a little bit, he still looks real. 
And that's the one thing I had a problem with Alita was it didn't look. I mean, real that's more me. probably makeup and stuff too, whereas she's a complete CG character. Yeah, but they could have done some motion capture. They, I don't know if they did or not. I don't know so, that, yeah. and it just didn't look. Even the other robot, who I guess is uh, supposed to be Francis from Deadpool, um, and uh, oh yeah, that's what I I'll uh, agree with you that the other robots look more CG to me than she does. I mean. And don't look as good. Like wasn't the girl this, with the sickle arms. This was supposed to come like, out and when? October? It was, no, this was coming. It, we should have already seen it. I think it was June. Okay, so this yeah, is, this is going to be terrible. Back. It's been pushed back. Yeah, it's probably going to be terrible. So that's just why I think about it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's all I want to say about That's all I got to say about that because right. Forrest Gump. Now right. let's talk about Shazam! I was surprised I liked this. So I do like uh, Zachary Levi from Chuck. I love Chuck. That was one of my favorite shows. Um, and Thor, Dark World. I forget. And Thor Ragnarok for, for, for 10 seconds. That, yeah. <laughs> um, when he gets uh, killed by Hell, he's like, ah, it's just saying. Uh. It's such a weird choice to lead a movie, though, because you're like, what has he been in? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Well, you know, the, the age of the movie star is over. Movie stars do not make money. Properties make money. And a fun little superhero movie that kind of reminds me of Tom Hanks' Big where he gets, becomes an adult and uh, he's like, it's like, can you fly? I don't know. And then the whole superhero fight and then into the, they have dancing around and then uh, and he's like, whoa, you're dead. It's just like if a kid became a superhero, that's exactly what he'd do. So it kind of reminded me of the movie Big and then you also got Mark Strong as the villain in the movie. I'll be curious if we see Black Adam at all in this uh, movie. I think not. And uh, I mean it's crazy, but maybe mm-hmm. we'll see him in the sequel and yeah. stupid, the stupid Suicide Squad too. Um, but yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, it looks. I think it looks good. It looks. Fun. Some people are complaining about it looking too CGI, but the movie is really. We have about eight months before the movie actually comes out, so we wait and see. And it's going to really depend on how if Aquaman and Shazam do amazing box office wise and critically. It's all changed the game for the DC uh, uh, FU. <laughs> DC FU, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, that's what old uh, Josh Steph always used to say. Rest uh-huh. rest in peace, uh, buddy. Aww. All right, uh, now uh, let's talk about Aquaman. Yeah, this looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Looks like Lord of the Rings in the ocean to me, and it's got a little bit of like like Hercules almost reminds me of a lot of Black Panther yeah because you have the whole brother the brother war between the two Uh, you have uh, his brother who is Ocean Master who uh, who is the who is the true the true born heir and then you have the mom who basically went off and married or uh, uh, met with a lighthouse keeper and they got together and then they had uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman Sounds. I mean, it looked beautiful. There's some shots in that trailer. James Wan. I'm not a big horror. I'm not a big horror guy. Yeah. But he knows how to shoot movies. He's the one that did the Conjuring movies, right? The Conjuring movies. Yeah. Uh, I think it's here. I think it's a Conjuring. Yeah, I think it's the Conjuring. He did the Fast and the Furious. Uh, the one Con- with Paul Walker dying. Oh. I thought he handled that as well as he could. So and I think he just knows how to shoot uh, these uh, big open. It just looked incredible. I did. I just want to quote Dr. Evil. I only asked for one thing, <laughs> and that's sharks with freaking laser on them. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome. And I was not very pumped for this. And you and you loved what's her face? Uh, Amber oh, Heard. Amber Heard looked amazing in it. And I just the way they her outfit. I mean, she looks hot as all get out. But the how neon like bright her hair is mm-hmm. it's just going to be like as soon as she comes on screen you're going to be like just focusing on her the whole time uh, redheads <laughs> <yeah. laughs> so uh, that was a smart choice because yeah she's awesome mm-hmm. all right moving on we have fantastic beast to the crimes of grindelwald what do you think about this trailer i'm on a record that i thought fantastic beast was pretty good i don't love it this two trailers now that we've seen for this movie maybe three have all been great um and this one looked even cooler. Like, it gets me in a Harry Potter mood, and you know I'm not the biggest <laughs> Harry Potter fan. So, uh, yeah, it looks awesome. It looks action-packed. It looks like this trailer didn't have a whole lot of, uh, what's his name, the the mogul, the muggle dude from uh, Goldberg's that I really liked. But 
he's in there. So uh, he was my favorite character in the first Fantastic Beast. Um, but yeah, it looks cool. I mean, there are so many great because I'm a I'm a Harry Potter fanatic. Yeah, love Harry. I love me some Harry Potter. There's a lot of Easter eggs. And I mean, whenever uh, you see the young Newt and you see the uh, you see the uh, the stuff with the whenever he said the thing he's scared of the most is be working the class. That's callbacks to, re, to uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, and I, I I love that scene and also the ending when you see Nicholas Flamel for the the old man who shows up at the end. And the uh, the the Muggle guy, he's like, "I'm Nicholas Favell. I'm over six hundred and eight or whatever years old." And you're like, "Oh, that's really cool because Nicholas Favell created the Sorcerer's Stone, which is what Voldemort's trying to get to in the Sorcerer in the first Harry Potter movie, so he can live again." So it's kind of cool that they're bringing him into it. And I love that the movie's being set in Paris. Uh, we're going to see Ezra Miller return Blah. back as uh, the Spoke Monster. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to this uh, movie. I mean, it comes out in November. We don't had a far away. I mean, in a few weeks we'll be doing our top ten anticipated fall movies. This will probably make my list. Yeah, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about the trailer of Comic Con Glass. Yes, this was the best trailer of Comic Con. Freaking. Uh... Gave me goosebumps, man. Seeing them come back, it's crazy to think, you know, Unbreakable is what uh, came out in 2001? 2000, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. So, 18 years ago, mm-hmm. and we're getting, and Bruce Willis doesn't look horrible in the trailer. I know he could be faking it for the trailer, but uh, uh, yeah, it's just having all these characters together and having a true, uh, you know, I guess third movie in M. Night's weird, realistic comic book. Uh, Mm -hmm. franchise he's trying to build here um yeah i'm super pumped the trailer was amazing the music just the 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 shots of uh what's his name james mcafoy every time as the beast with the 24 personalities and the funniest part of the whole trailer was whenever he's uh when he's uh that when he's the little boy kevin and he's on a little bike with all the cheerleaders it's like (laughs) you know done when the when the beast shows up (laughs) (laughs) Oh uh, yeah, that that seems awesome. Yeah, it this looks. I mean, holy shit! I mean, uh, this could be terrible. I know that's the only thing I don't want to jinx it because it could be garbage. But Split was so damn good. It was. It was so damn good because you're at the end. You're just like, I don't know why I just watched when I watched Split, and then you see the diner, and then you see uh, Bruce Willis say, uh, "Mr. Glass," and you're just like. Oh wait a minute! This is connected to a. This is a connected to Unbreakable, which means this is a supervillain's origin story. This changes the whole movie. Yeah, it makes the movie so much better. Seeing Bruce Willis, I mean, it looks like he's giving a shit. I hope. And so. uh, well, I always say this about Ryan Johnson. The one reason I was really excited about Ryan Johnson for the Last Jedi was because Ryan Johnson got Bruce Willis to give a shit in uh in Looper. Yeah, he was great in Looper. And uh that's the last movie. I was about to say. I don't that's the last really that's the last movie Bruce Willis has been an actual character instead of just being Bruce Willis. Yeah. And then also seeing Sam Jackson as uh, Mr. Glass and see it's like so well it looks like we got ourselves a team up here. <laughs> and it's I and mean in Unbreakable Bruce Willis's character is very like real low key, low energy kind of guy. So I mean you could pull it off. He could pull it off. It's not going to take a lot of energy to to pull off this character. So. Mm-hmm. But he's got to try a little bit. Yeah, that's he the definitely thing. does have to try a little bit. And it looks like, and it actually looks like he's trying. So I'm I'm looking forward to glass, and I cannot wait for 2019. I know. And guys, that ends episode 30 of the Easy K Show. For more information, go to www.youtube.com uh, on both our YouTube channels and watch uh, Brandy Kane's uh, Lazy Movie Reviews. For more information, and until next time, all too easy. Peace out.